They are all just a bunch of New World Order puppets. That's all they are, guys. What is the condemning Christian nationalism? Evangelical leaders doing this. We're going to talk more about it. Right off the top, guys, let me mention to you, I'm now over on Rumble. Get over to Rumble. Subscribe to me there. The link is in the description. We were recently demonetized here on YouTube. We lost all of our revenue. So Rumble's our backup. Sign up there quick before YouTube completely takes my channel down. It could happen. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. We had over, get this, guys, 400. 400 pastors and different evangelical leaders that have now penned this letter condemning the Christian nationalism, which they say was to blame for the January 6th DC incident that took place. And you guys know what I'm referring to when I say DC incident, uh, January 6th. We all know what went down. Now, here's the funny thing about this is that this entire movement, this entire letter and this group was all spawned by, oh, a progressive Christian pastor by the name of Doug Paget. He has his own organization. And when I saw this, I'm going through this, I'm like, oh, okay, progressive Christianity. Well, there you go. Th there you go. I talk about progressive Christianity all the time. And when you try to put that as this dominant force of Christianity, they are, they, they are the moral truth when it comes to Christianity. We must trust the progressive Christians, right? Well, wrong. And here's what's also terrible about this. They make these statements about what they saw on that day without knowing any of the actual facts about what really went down that day. They just completely dismissed everything else that we know, that you know, and that I know that really happened that day and really who was the ones responsible for it. But instead they blame Christian nationalism. They said it disgusted them to see signs there saying Jesus saves in those Horrible, nasty things that Mr. Trump had to say during his speech, which included the words peacefully. Because the word peacefully we know is a trigger word. It doesn't really mean peacefully. It means something else. It's code for, basically code for charge. These leaders, 400, and one of them that was on this list, by the way, was Billy Graham's granddaughter. I made it on this list. Uh, singer uh, Israel Houghton was on there. A bunch of other megachurch pastors all signed their name to this, saying that they could not in good conscience, you know, just go quiet, just go silent when all of this was happening. Because right now they have all the hearings that are going on about this. They just started taking place in the Senate this week. Okay, they're going to be a real snooze fest. They're going to try to milk this thing for as long as they possibly can. But these pastors wanting to feel that they're holier than thou needing to put their name to this piece of paper. Well, in my view, when you put your name to this piece of paper, it just shows that, well, you know what? You're one of these false pa uh, pastors that we need to stay away from. That's the way I view it. Now, I got more to say on this, guys, but let's mention to you, because we lost our revenue, we are now asking for your help, guys, to help donate to the ministry. There's a couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal. The PayPal link is down below. You guys could do either a one-time donation or you could do a monthly donation. They're both a great blessing to us. Again, the link down below, or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. The Patreon link down there below as well. With Patreon, you'll get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to these YouTube videos. We're including those over on Patreon as well because YouTube is not always alerting you for when the new content goes out. So Patreon is a great way to make sure you don't miss anything. And I highly recommend it. So go over the guys to help support if you're able to do so. I appreciate it. Now, let's get back here to these so-called pastors that put their name to this. You know, after this first happened in most recent weeks as well, we've been hearing the media talk about Christian nationalism, how it's a danger to our society, that it needs to be exterminated. It needs to be taken out. We already expect that from the Democrats. We already expect that from the media. But when you have evangelicals, so-called evangelical pastors, basically in agreement, they're in line with what the media and what the Democrats are saying, that's a danger. You can't look to these evangelical leaders as your friends. You can't look to them as that. They are not equal to you. No, no, they're on their side. They're not on our side. Not at all. Not one second. They try and look at this Christian nationalism. Oh, this is, it's more of a tribal and cultural thing than it is really about 
spirituality and about Christ. So being a Christian and being proud of your country, that's all of a sudden a problem? That That's now considered extreme? Because Christians want to put in leaders that will uphold what the Bible says when it comes to issues like pro-life? That That's... That's wrong. That's a da- that's a danger to evangelicals. Oh, I, I didn't know that. But again, that word evangelical, what does it really mean anymore, right? When you take a look at who's actually behind it, this pastor, Doug Paget, who put this whole thing together, he spent his organization spent millions of dollars getting people of faith not to vote for Trump. Not to vote for Trump. Now, to someone who's a casual Christian, you know, they see something like this, they're gonna think, Oh my gosh, well, if an evangelical is saying this, and over 400 of them signed this letter, then I, I guess I need to get in line with that because, I mean, they obviously know more than me because they're pastors. And I, I, I voted for Trump, and now I feel like I made a big mistake because they're telling me I shouldn't have. And they'll get sucked right into that. But this is why you need to discern everything that you hear. You don't trust someone just because they have the name of pastor in front of them. You don't trust someone just because they have a certain denomination in front of them. You don't trust them for any of that. You trust only God. You go to God. You go to him in prayer. You talk with him. You go to the word. All of these wolves in sheep's clothing, ladies and gentlemen, they are coming out more and more each and every single day. They come in Christian name only. You should call them the Sinos or whatever you want to call them. Like we call Republicans the Renos, the Rhinos. Call them the Sinos, the Sinos, whatever you want to call them. But they are the ones who want to take us out. Because we truly do follow Christ. We are not afraid to put in people in power who are going to uphold our religious liberty and our faith and values that line up with God's word. They have a problem with that. They hide from true facts, like the shirt says. They completely dismissed everything. It, that just, it just blew my mind. They just dismissed it all. No, 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 I'm not important. It was all a Christian's fault. Didn't mention any other group. No, 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 nothing like that. And by the way, if they were so disgusted about what took place on January 6th, where were these same leaders back when everything was going on over the summer with BLM? Uh, on all the, the the cities that were burning in Portland and Seattle, did, did they did 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 they come out and release any statement? Then absolutely not. You know why? Because many of them were marching with those groups. Oh, that's right. Oh, they don't talk about that on the media too much, do they? They were marching with those groups. The same evangelical pastors saying that Christian nationalism is the danger to our society. We're really out there marching with the enemy. I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just pointing this things, these things out there to you because we're in the last days and Christ is coming back soon. And as part of our ministry, we're trying to get as many people to Jesus as we possibly can. It's very simple. One, you just repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from your sin. It doesn't mean just to say you're sorry but turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that is counter to the word of God. Ask Jesus to forgive you. He will wash that sin away and then invite him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you have eternal life. You become born again, saved. There's no greater decision you're ever going to make than to come to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. We really do. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Again, if you're able to help donate those links down below as well as a link to my Rumble account. All of it can be found down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.